Hello, this is Assassinator17, and um doing a video request, well not a request I offered, but doing a video for the, Le the Lycris, I think his name is. I think it, it might, I don't know, it's the Lycris, but he wanted to know how to make a counter, and so I thought I'd just do a little mini tutorial on it. To make a counter, you can either use um, a loop, which is using a do, until, or one of the other variations, or Visual Basic has the whole timer object that you can use in the toolbox right there and um so what I've got here is I've got a timer a form and a text box and if you're wondering why the form might look different to yours I just have it as a different type of form border style which can be found there the bold indicates that it's been changed and yeah fixed tool window that's why it might look different to yours now, let's go ahead and take a look at the code behind making a timer with these three components. Um, the top part is the class for form1, public class and class. The next line is the variable which will store the value for your counter. So what it is here is public, which means the variable can be accessed within any sub or I think function, I'm not sure, but it should be accessed within anything. Um, int is the variable name, just short for integer. As integer, you're setting the data type to a number, and then I'm going to set the variable to zero. Now, this part is a subroutine, and it's got the event handler form one load. So the code inside here is going to execute when the form when form one has loaded, which is that form. And so the code says timer one dot start. That starts this timer. It starts it going, starts it ticking. However you want to phrase it, it gets it started. And this subroutine is the timer dot the timer the timer's loop code. So the code in here will execute every time the timer loops over. And you can see what I've got. I've got my variable int, and it has int equals int plus one. So whatever the int so whatever the variable was, it's gonna be the variable plus one. And then just to make it a little more of a graphic example, the text box is there to show the value of int increasing. Now I've also got the timer set to intervals of a thousand instead of one hundred to make it a second instead of a tenth of a second. So it's gonna be going a little slower. But let's just see how this goes. And we can see here the number going up three, four, five. Now the timer doesn't have to go up one second, the timer can loop whenever you want it. It can loop, because um, it doesn't have to be in a the timer, I should say counter, the counter doesn't have to be in a loop. You can have a counter to count whenever an event happens, to count whenever the mouse leaves the form, to count how many times someone pushes a button. All you'd have to do is have a variable like this and have a statement like that to tell the variable to increase itself by one or you could have it by two or three or whatever how many you want and this can also be applied to progress bars and other such things where you have to increase the progress bar you'd increase the variable it's based on um, but yeah that's a basic counter right there and um, I'll see you later look out for, if you've got any more requests by the way I'm not planning to do any more videos because I've got no ideas but if you've got an, a request or you want to see how something's done then don't be afraid to leave a comment let me know and I'll if it's if I can do it, I'll do it. Well, when I can do it as well. But um yeah, I'll see you later.